So remember, I'm not going to go through the process like this. The process, um, actually, I should. Actually, I will. After I'm done with this, I'll, I'll go through the process. What I saw a lot, of your, a lot of the mistakes in the homework was not isolating the absolute value. That has to be the first step. We cannot create our two cases until the absolute value is isolated. So you can see, remember, the absolute value symbols are not parentheses. We cannot apply our distributive property. This represents the absolute distance. Right now, that absolute distance is being multiplied by 3. So we have to undo multiplying by 3 by dividing by 3. So now, by dividing by 3, I'm left with a 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 7. Okay. Now we need to create our two cases. Now, if you guys remember, when we created our two cases with equations, we just had one side and the other side, and then we negated the other side, right? But remember our focus lesson last class period. Remember when we multiply or divide by negative 1, what does that do with the sign? Does anybody remember? Yeah? You flip it, right? So if we're going to negate a side, then we're going to have to flip the sign. So you still create your two cases. Just like you did with equations. It's 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 7. But now, when you negate it, it's going to be flipped. 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to negative. Actually, you know what? Let's put these in red so you guys remember. That's the changes. Less than or equal to negative 7. I'm writing them in red for you guys to understand. Those are the changes I made. I negated this side compared to that side. And since I negated it, I had to flip the sign. Now, we're dealing with inequalities, two inequalities. So it's either an and or it's an or. Whenever you have an absolute value who is greater than or equal to 7, it becomes an or inequality. Okay, And I'll write this down in some notes for you guys to copy down. I just want to go through some examples. So now we just go ahead and solve. Add 1, add 1. 2x is greater than or equal to 8. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x is greater than or equal to 4. Or add 1, add 1. 2x is less than or equal to negative 6. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x is less than or equal to negative 3. So now we go through our line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So x is less than or equal to negative 3. I go to negative 3, make a nice big circle. It's less than or equal to, so it's going to be solid. Shade to the left. x is greater than or equal to 4, solid. Shade to the right. I've got to go over this stuff. Anybody have any questions? Yes, no, maybe so.